Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos, and I'm at the top of the, not the Coliseum, what is it, the, the, like the Olympic Stadium, the Stadium? Stadium, I think is what they called it, in one of the video or one of the things I saw anyway. But let me show you this, too. They have a mock-up over here that I'm going to show you, and then you can see exactly how crazy this thing really is. So here is the thing, and I showed you this yesterday on my initial walkthrough, and you can see all the seats, and, and obviously it went higher than this, and I think even lower than this. Um, stupid staggering crazy I mean it's just huge right but think about this so so here's all the seats you know what I mean and so this is where the athletes would line up and race or you know they do uh, chariot races or running races or you know I don't I don't have any idea what the hell they did in these things but it's got a, a tunnel here that goes through um, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks pretty good size, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so fine. That's all well and good. But there's the main walking street right there, and it goes all the way down, and it goes a long way. I, You know, half mile, three quarters of a mile. Now, obviously, the stadium isn't that big, but let me go show you this stadium, and then you'll get an understanding of what we're really dealing with here. So, this is what we were really dealing with. Get the hell out of here. Are you kidding me? You got to be crapping me. This is just beyond fathomable. So I'm sitting right here. Remember I just said there was a tunnel right here? That's the little tunnel. And these little seats right here are the only ones we see. So we see the, like these three sections, but we don't see any of these other ones. Look at this. Are you, you got to be kidding me. And then at the end, it's got that, <laughs> that thing. I mean, oh my God, can you imagine this? In the tunnel, you could get people in and, and in, into the the theater or into the stadium. Wow. And it was surrounded by rocks, by like mountains, it looks like, upon one side at least, and on this side too. But imagine that. And this looks like an aqueduct or some kind of thing. Oh my gosh. So I wonder how big a section is. So if this section in there is maybe 40 feet. So let's just do some math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's just sell it 20. 20 times 40. So we're talking, what are we talking about? You know, that's a lot. 20 times 40, that's 8,000 feet on each side. This is how it used to look back in the day. Full of little opius. Yeah, that's pretty staggering. And let's go look at this again. It's pretty amazing. Um, more tourists. But so you can see these little sections. So how many sections do we see here? We just see this one here. And then we see this one here with the tunnel. And then we see that one over there. Wow. Enormous and huge. Wow, wow. Yeah, okay. So I am like... I mean, I, you know, just to think that back, you know, 2,000 years ago, 2,300 years ago, that they were doing things like this. Get out of here. What, what happened? I mean, you know, in, in <laughs> 10 years, we've gone from no AI to AI everywhere, and it's a concern that we're going to destroy our world. And then this place, why did they do this 2,300 years ago? And we're just where we're at now. Okay, the aliens helped them. I get it. I get it. I understand. Look at that. And that's that tunnel we talked about. And it goes over to that other building. Get out of here. I, I don't think... Uh, I think we've lost something along the way here. And you can see that this is just one section of seats. But if you look up here, I mean, there's stairs here. And, I, you know, if this was a mountain that they get rid of, I bet this was probably, you know, another 20 feet on top of this. Crazy, crazy. And then look over here, too. It's the same way. You know? So this one, now this one goes way down. So how many seats are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's not even going to be it. 14. Wow. And that all connected to this one. And if there's 14 on that side, there has to be at least 14 on this side, right? How many do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's at least four more to this edge. 
you know? And then think about this too. They had to uncover this. This was all covered by dirt and silt and, you know, it's like Pompeii and it's like, uh, you know, um, what's the one in, uh, in Turkey? I mean, all of these have been silted and covered up over the years, um, but amazing. So think about this. Think that there were some kind of games going on. Chariot races, right? Right here, chariot races. They started right here, right in front of us, right here at this little restaurant. And this was just jam-packed with people. There were butts on those seats from Roman people 2,300 years ago. Think America. Even if we go back to Christopher Columbus in 1492, what, what are we doing? We're not even talking about a real, that's only what, you know, maybe 600 years? We're talking 2,300 years ago. Don't even get me started on things like, uh, you know, um, Egypt and the pyramids and, and 4,000 years ago, or about that dome in Ireland that's 6,000 years ago, or about uh, Globla Tepe in Turkey that's 12 thousand years old are you kidding me america what are we doing we're fighting amongst ourselves silly silly anyway thanks for coming to listen to my rant i find it simply incredible amazing let's go look at this one thing before we go so you can see it from a different perspective yeah, staggering, staggering. So here's where we stand right now, and you can see how this would have been. And this is that walking street that I did yesterday through my initial walking thing, and I'll come back. But think about this, that, that this is buildings, 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 all the way down to here. The tunnel is over here. Um, yeah, create, okay, so this is all we get to see here is this little section, and that little section over to the left is this section. Oh my, yeah, I just, I just find it flabbergastingly amazing. And what does this say? Stefonda, which is number one, um, is where? Okay, here, this one. The beginning of the second century AD under Imp Emperor Hayden, Hadrian. He's been everywhere. He was in, uh, in Ireland and bid the Hadrian's Wall there. And then he has the Hadrian's Palace over north of Rome. Um, or actually east of Rome, a curved part of the stadium with 14 rows. Boy, Eric's a good count. And marble seats, the spectators divided into sections and aisles with stairs and the vaulted entrance. Under the seats led to the underground passage above the entrance. Way. Okay, great. Fortification wall, which is where? One, two, where's two? Two, two, two. Oh, the fortification wall. Oh, to fortify it all. 172 AD. 20... 2100 years ago, aqueduct, 4th century AD, the pillars of one of the two aqueducts of the Philippopolis with the length of 25 kilometers, which transported 25 kilometers. So what's that, like 15 miles? And where is this one at? Three. Oh, that's over here. And I'm looking up here trying to find it, but uh, I don't think it's there anymore. Aqueduct, vaulted passage street, four. Oh, that's that uh, that tunnel that we just saw. That's that thing right there. That, that That's that tunnel. So not only did that go this way, but it went way over there. Man, I just, it's just beyond understanding. Track on which sports and other competitions took place at the edge of the track. There were drainage canals with brick shafts, which led to the water towards the canal under the ancient streets. Wow, that's crazy. So that's five. And that's this part. So that's this whole... This whole thing is number five. And they had drainage, that's funny. Masonry canals, part of the plumbing system, pre-Roman structures. You just you just gotta be kidding me, man. I you know, and again, seating for thirty thousand spectators is one of the most notable facilities of ancient Palapopolis. Um, at Dunduzu Square in northern arched part of Sedona is covered with a unique combination of some of the remains of the ancient street, blah blah blah. Man. And they just did this in 2008 in the basis of the preliminary architectural project um, from 2008, which suggests preservation of unfolding architectural. Wow, man. Okay, everybody, I, I, I guess you get that, that I find the whole thing just staggeringly amazing. Okay, more than staggeringly amazing. Wow, wow. Yeah, this gets a wow, wow, wow. You can have three wows for this one. Very, 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 very cool. Bye, everybody. Okay, <laughs> I found these stairs. And so look at what we're looking at here. This is another color picture of what this stadium looks like. 
pretty amazing. Welcome to the Project Hall of Romanian Stadium, blah, blah, blah. So it's so called the Roman Stadium. So this is the stadium. Um, man, can you imagine this? I can't even imagine. Okay, but there's stairs. So this is that retaining wall. Um, and I don't know where the other one is, the aqueduct. But let's go down these stairs and take a look. Can we get down there to the main section? Or is this going to be a ticket event? And what does this say? Sections of the fortress wall of Philippopolis built back in 172 under Empress Marcus or <laughs> Marcus Aurelius. Okay, don't be silly. All right, Eric, keep it together. Marcus Aurelius, although damaged during the Gothic invasion in 251, it continued its function in the third and fourth century A.D. Renovations in the construction were made in the fourth A.D. This area was crossed by an ancient aqueduct. Man. Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> oh, there's more things to read. Hang on. Just got to keep looking. You keep finding crap. And what does this say? Oh, the project again. Uh, the ancient stadium of Philopolopolis. Preservation. You know, every time I, I add more P's, every time, don't I? Um, it's like Mississippi. Um, you are the original level of the Roman town of the Acropolis and the town center designed for the or, or whatever street layout Hipp Hippodomian system. There is a main square, the forum, where the two main streets intersect. The ancient city is 2nd century AD, 200 feet or um, Wait. St ancient stadium with length of 240 meters. So let's say 250 times 3, 750 meters. Is that like almost a kilometer, maybe? Seating uh, 30,000 spectators is one of the facilities. Okay, wow. And you can see it here. And here's the theater that I have a concert at tonight. And then what's this one was, oh, that's that main street. So here's the walking street. Oh, that's that section. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so this is where all the people lived. All this, it's amazing that all the streets are up and down. And you have to think 2,300 years ago, it was all uniformed. Very cool. Here's some more stuff. Hit pause if you need to. Wow. Wait, supported by the grant from Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, through the European. <laughs> Okay, well, let's thank uh, Liechtenstein and Norway for their uh, their support. And this is that tunnel. So think about this. Right now, we're walking through something that is uh, that probably thousands and thousands and th maybe a hundred thousand people walk through this tunnel at one time. Get out of here. And so now we're going to walk right out onto the spot where they would have games. I didn't bring my running shoes and I don't have a chariot. <laughs> Man. And we just get to walk right out here. And this is what it would look like from right here. You can see the the seats in the stadium and the whole nine yards. Get out of here. Man, okay. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. That's me, they're cheering me. Sorry, I had to I had to do a little cheer for myself. Wow. Wow, wow. All right, I'm gonna do it. Um, caution steps, uh, pay attention to your safety. I think I'm gonna walk up here and have a seat. They're tiny little stairs though. I mean, look at the... Oh. I'm gonna sit where thousands of ancient Romans sat. Oh, right here. Wow. Go, Gladiator, go. How you doing, Bob? Nice day, huh? Yep, yep. Boy, your wife's looking great today. Great, great, great. Kids are nice. Great, great. <laughs> you just think about this. 2,300 years ago, people were planting their butts right here and cheering on the games. I know. I certainly am silly about it, but uh, you know. And how often do you need to climb around it? Yeah, all right, I gotta go look at those mosaics too. Okay, I'll stop yakking and stop daydreaming. Man, could you imagine? So you're a parent here and your kid is standing right there in a field of 20 others and they're gonna have a race to the end of that thing down there. Um, 
the hundred yard dash or <laughs> probably the the five hundred yard dash but uh yeah man i can't even imagine that's it bye everybody there's more do you see these things right here so i mean so you see how this was right so but if you look really closely over there you see like an inlet and then over here you see like an outlet so you see how this one is lower there's no lip right here there's just straight through and then look at this one this one has a lip so it has an edge so the water would come from this side and then fill up in here and then go out that side once it hit its level and then look at what it says right here can you guys even read that I hope you can read it. The stadium had an original drainage system. On the periphery of the track before the first rows of the seats, a rock and canal delivered the rainwater to the two symmetrical shafts at the end of the drain. The water flowed then through the masonry canal buried beneath the stone pavement of the domed passage. So then this little canal thing um, went all the way around, but it was buried. And then look at over here too. It's the exact same way. This one's gotten, this one has, well, this lips a little lower than this side. Oh, maybe this was the center point, but, uh, yeah, crazy. We'll go through the tunnel backwards. And imagine 30,000 people cheering you on. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Amazing. Certainly wow wow. Bye everybody.